Libra. It's Bunny here. Welcome to my sacred space of love and healing. Woo! It's time. Let's dive into your reading. This is going to be a timeless read, Libra. So whenever you find this reading, it's for you. All right. However, it will be dated for January 2024. All of my readings are timeless. So whenever you find them, it means spirit has a message for you from your guides and your higher self. So I've already read for Virgo and I've already said goodbye to Virgo's spirit team. And right before I turned on the camera, I created sp sacred space with Archangel Michael and I invited your spirit team here, the Vir the Libras, Virgo, sorry, the Libras, this is a video for Libras, the Libras that watch me, I invited your spirit team and ancestors and all who guide you into this sacred space with me, those that are for your highest good. And so we're going to go ahead and dive right in. So this is going to be a general reading, not a love reading, all right? Okay, so... I think this time I'm going to go ahead and start with, actually, no, I want to start with the mermaid deck again. <clears throat> All right. So what do we have for Libra for the month of January? What does Libra need to know right now? Let's put this here. What does Libra need to know right now? What does Libra need to know right now? What is the most important message that Libra needs to know right now? I'm going to shuffle those. And I'm also going to shuffle this Rider Waite deck because I will usually do the Mermaid and then I will do the Rider Waite back to back. <clears throat> and then we'll do a Spirit message and we'll do an Oracle, Unicorn Oracle card for you. And we're going to end this reading with a charm. So I'm just laying out everything for you. All right. Libra. What's going on for our beautiful Libras? What does Libra need to know about the energies right now? Ooh, two cards came out. Weird. Ten of Swords ending and Five of Wands competition. Who? All of the signs are definitely going through massive amounts of karmic cycles ending. There's been a whole lot of heavy energies. Nine of Wands feeling on the defense. What is going on, Libra? <laughs> what? Wow. There is a whole lot of strong energies okay wow okay I'm gonna go ahead and pull one more who we understanding well thank god something good is coming out of this shit show oh my gosh okay we have ten of swords Something ending painfully. Ouch. Libra. Hugs. Shit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is always the card with the person with the ten swords in their back. They're literally dead. They're on the ground. So it might feel very deathish. <laughs> like, you know, the ten of swords is something ending very painfully. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. But pain plays a purpose Libra pain lets us know where something is not sitting right with our beautiful souls so what is it that you are not listening to that your soul is screaming at you that is creating this pain for you we have competition five of wands so you know five of wands is the energy of conflict and um arguments and things just feeling generally chaotic in your world okay um you know it's the card where like the five people are fighting with wands now it's not as deep 
as if someone is fighting with swords, but wands can hurt. <laughs> Have you ever been slapped with a giant wand, <laughs> Libra? All right. So in this case, this card says competition. So there's something that needs to be realized and to be said about comparing yourself to other people and other people's journeys, okay? We are all on separate journeys, but yet still connected. We're all learning the same lessons, right? Just at different times in our journey. So try to remember that when you are comparing yourself or competing for things, people, places, um, I don't know, whatever it is that you feel you need to compete for. There's always enough room, time, energy, money, love, what, whatever it is to go around. There is no need to compare or compete with anything other than yourself. <laughs> okay. Okay. Then we have nine of wands, which is being on the defense. So again, nine of wands is about feeling like you're at the end of your rope, feeling really exhausted and irritated. But yet, let me stress this to you, Libra. Usually when that energy comes, it's because you're at the, you're at the edge of a breakthrough. There's something shifting in you that says, this is bullshit. I am irritated with this. Things are not going well, and this allows you the energy to embrace it and change it. Okay? Now, beware of, of the energy. So this, I like to call this, you know, the wounded warrior because it's the nine of wands. It's the person, they're all beat up, but yet they're still standing, and they still look proud, and they still look, you know... Um, they're still persevering, even though they are dead on their feet, right? Even though they're exhausted, okay? This card also says defense, if you see it right there. Can you see it? Okay, so beware of being defensive um, for all of the wrong reasons. It is absolutely imperative that we set up boundaries, of course, with anyone that is not serving us right in our souls right there it is absolutely necessary for us to set up boundaries for the toxic energy vampires and the people that we know are not having our highest good you know in mind however Beware of being defensive with the wrong ones, okay? You don't want to put up defenses when someone comes to you with the energy of love or friendship and you you are are understanding that, you know, the energy is, is, is good and they have, you know, your best interests at heart and they're really trying to chip away at, you know, the things that they see um, could be hindering your growth. Do you understand what I'm saying, Libra? Okay. We also have, so after defense, we have recovery. Beautiful. So this is the four of swords. It's the energy of rest and re recuperation and rediscovering. Most importantly, the moments of meditation, the moments of stillness have been my greatest asset in my whole entire journey. The moments when I stop and say, I need to, sorry, my children are being so loud. I need to pause. I need to reflect. I need to go within. I need to discover what the next step is. And the stillness is your best fucking friend, Libra. It really is. It allows your soul to refresh and rejuvenate. And it allows you to ask the difficult questions. Why is this energy coming into my life? What am I supposed to be learning from this? Right? Look, King of Cups, here you're reaching this point of understanding and openness. But it's gonna, it's not going to be easy. All of these moments are leading up 
you up to this moment, something happening to crack your heart open so that you can understand the essence of who Libra is. And then you can come with an open heart and now with all of this defense, competition, painful endings, and closed off energy. This is going to allow you to open yourself to the energy of the divine. And you're going to finally understand why everything happened, what, you know, and why everything happened the way that it did. Oh, that's powerful, Libra. Three of Cups. See, and then now is the celebrations and the energy of rebirth. Look at that judgment. Wow. Perfect. It came out in reverse too. I don't read reversals though, so we're just going to flip it. This is a resurrection, Libra, a resurrection of joy, a resurrection of your intuition getting even stronger, if that's even possible. Your intuition is already freaking on fire, right? But now it's going to be like off the charts, like third eye activations, left and right. It's about feeling into your heart space. We have King of Cups again. Wow, this could be an offer of love or this could be you really, really starting to lean into the self-love, the love of yourself. The next step has, has, the next steps have already been provided for you. You just have to follow them and trust the guidance of your heart. That's all it is, Libra. All right, and I see that you've been doing really really hard work in the physical but not just in the physical in the emotional and the shadow work and oh we have ton of wands uh, we have ton of wands we it was ten of swords we're gonna dive into that in a minute but i just want to show you the beautiful energy here look we have celebrations judgment this is a resurrection of joy and also intuition look at this this is a resurrection of your spiritual self coming back full force Boom! Like a tidal wave. We have the King of Cups. Love. An offering of love. An offering of patience. An offering, offering of understanding. Okay? Understanding yourself. Understanding that self-love is the, the basis of everything good for us. There's you doing your shadow work. The emotional work. The hard work. And the in the physical and the 3D, and by the way, incredible. So proud of you for working so hard to create things that you want for yourself. Remember to ask your soul what it needs as well. Sometimes we get so wrapped up, Libra, in doing things on the physical plane, we forget to ask in the sixth dimension, what do you need, soul? How can I better serve you? Is it meditation? Is it prayer? Is it stillness? Is it sitting out in nature? What is it? How can I feed you? That's what we need. And then we have 10 of wands. And I don't know why we have that. So I'm going to dive into that. And I'm going to, we're going to get some clarifiers. Okay. Because I see you feeling really overburdened and stressed and tired. We have 10 twice. We had 10 of swords and now it's 10 of wands. All right, I'm going to throw these cards back in in case we have some repeating energies. All right, why do we have this 10 of wands for Libra? Can we please get some clarification about this 10 of wands for Libra? 10 of wands for Libra, what do we got? What's going on with this 10 of wands for Libra, please? Oops, there it is strength wow okay so they're not giving me any indications of what is going on and why you're feeling so overwhelmed and bogged down with responsibilities 
sometimes readings are like that, right? Sometimes spirit is vague because it's just not in my place to know, right? Um, I'm sure you know what it is that's going on and it's possible that you don't. It's possible that spirit doesn't want to share what's going to happen um, as far as like the, you know, the energy of being overburdened because it's possible, you know, it needs to be a surprise in order for things to unfold the way that they will so that you can learn the lesson. We don't always get to know what's going on in our lives. It's nice that they let us know, right? But we don't get to know everything. What they are telling me though is this is the Leo card. It's number eight, which is the card of strength and being able to tame any demons which are coming your way, Libra. You are strong enough. You are capable. You are powerful. You are able to tame those demons. Do not doubt yourself, my beautiful Libra. Whatever comes along, you are so capable of conquering everything in your path. You've done it before. Remember how far you've come. Remember the energy of what you've been through and look at how far you've come already so far. Okay. We're going to go ahead and get a spirit message for you. Actually, you know what? I'm going to pull one more card from this tarot deck. And then we're going to move on to your spirit message. I just don't want to leave it on like a freaking ten of wands. <laughs> and though strength is good, like sometimes we want to hear something good, right? If another bad card comes out or not... Well, there's no, there's no, you know, there's no such thing really as duality and bad and good. It, everything is just lessons. Oh, great. I fucked up my camera now. Now it looks like my freaking, it's going to be so OCD-ish for me because it looks like my tree is all off kilter and it's not. It's completely centered, but my camera's crooked. So now it makes everything else look crooked. So... Whatever. We're going to leave it like that and call it a night. <laughs> Fuck it. Libra. Okay, so they gave us an eight of wands, which is the energy of something moving super quickly. Let's see if they'll give us a peek into what this eight of wands is about. All right, so there is something coming in very quickly. The energy is shifting. What is it? Can you give us a peek into that spirit before we move on? What is this? fast moving energy about for Libra so okay they gave us the devil <laughs> I know. so I don't know really how to interpret this we got eight of wands and the devil so the devil can be about you know temptations and bad habits and clinging to things which are not for our highest good okay so <clears throat> I, I'm not even really sure how to interpret this like hopefully it's the energy of you getting out of this type of energy right let's pull one more card and and hopefully it's not you rushing into this energy because that's not very pleasant at all Oh my gosh. Wow, we got judgment again. Okay, so there, whatever it is that's going to happen, there's there's no way to get around it. It's a, a very important lesson for your soul. It's going to resurrect something for you, right? It's important. It's an important karmic lesson. So at the end of it, Let's just hope that there's something beautiful at the end of the rainbow. <laughs> I'm sorry, Libra. I don't know. I thought, you know, the cards would be a little bit more pleasant after that. But it just it just keeps going down a, a spiral shit show. So we're going to end it there. I'm going to get your spirit message. We're moving on. Ah. You know, I, I interpret the energy and... I'm not one of those readers that's going to lie to you. I'm going to always read the energy in the cards. 
properly. All right, so we have the present, which is number 23. I fully experience every moment of my life by living in the present. So remember to ground yourself frequently. Remember to be present in these moments to completely be present so that you can understand the lessons that are being shown to you at this moment, Libra, in order for us to level up, we need to shift the energy in a way that lets go of all of the past bullshit and embrace the new. And so in order to do that, we have to stay present because we cannot miss anything, you know? Three and two is number five, which is the energy of change. So things are shifting, okay? Trust the shift. All right, so we are going to get an Oracle of the Unicorn card. And we're going to conclude this reading after this when I get a charm for you. And if something resonated in this reading, Libra, please hit the like button and subscribe. It's totally free for you. Share with all your amazing Libra friends. I know, I heard of the toilet flush. That's okay. <laughs> I love you. I love you. All right, here we go. Libra. Flow. Oh, that's beautiful. I love that. Look at this card. It's so beautiful. Flow, find an easier path forwards. Touche. <laughs> Surrender the outcome and release your expectations. Okay, so this whole reading has a theme, <laughs> Libra, about releasing, surrendering, release and surrender, flow like water so you can be happy. <laughs> Seriously. Allow, please allow, allow, just allow, just allow everything. Just let it in, let it out, let it be. Let go of the resistance, let go of the attachments, let go of the expectations of, oh, this is not happening because of this. Nobody's ever done this for me and blah, blah, blah. Who cares, Libra? I mean, I care. That's why I'm here. But what I mean by that is let it go. Let it go like Elsa. Let it go. Let it go. Let that stupid bullshit flow. <laughs> Don't let anyone rain on your parade. You are far too beautiful for that type of bullshit. Okay? Seriously. Allow spirit to guide every freaking second of your day. Okay? I'm going to leave you with this. I've been reading this beautiful book called Simple Abundance, and the writer says every single day she asks for the divine spiritual spark, which to her means she's asking for like the light of source, the light of God to guide her at every moment. So randomly throughout the day, she'll just say, give me that spiritual spark. Give me that spiritual spark. And I have been doing that with amazing amazing magical moments in my life it's been transformative or even just saying something as simple as thank you for no reason whatsoever just say it out loud let, let the universe bless you and guide you every single second of every moment with every fucking breath libra I love you so much. We're going to pull a charm for you. So the story behind these charms is I had all these charms and I wasn't quite sure what to do with them. So I went into meditation with my guides and it took a very long time to get all of the messages for these charms. But I wrote them all down and now I have a new way to connect with you and give you messages. First page of the, of the meanings, second page of the meanings, first page, second page. Very, very long. Took a long time, but so worth it and so fun. And they gave me regular read, regular messages and love messages. So I'm going to close my eyes and I'm going to pick 
a charm for you. And I don't know what I'm picking. We have the eggplant. Da 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 da. -da. So, <laughs> the eggplants. There is no regular message for this. It's just a, well, it's just, <laughs> it's an eggplant. Okay, we all know what eggplant means. So, it basically means really, really, really great sex, Libra. Lots of great sex. And lots of, well, you know, great D-I-C-K. All right. That's it. They didn't give me, they didn't give me a, <laughs> another meaning for that. I wish they would have, but what other meaning can you have for an eggplant? <laughs> I love you, Libra.